Okay, today we're going to be starting. Um, it's March 15th, 2021, and we're going to be looking at um, today's class is class number nine, beginning unit four. It's halfway through our course. Uh, today we're going to be looking at feelings and gestures and looking at how to describe things with ED and adjectives and things like that. So we'll just wait a second for students to come in and we'll get started. Okay, well, it's been, a, it's been a little while. We'll still wait. Hopefully, everybody will show up. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just that, that Monday thing.
Hola, Flor. Eh, no tengo ningún estudiante aún. Uh, ahorita acabo de reportarlo. Hola, buenas noches. En este momento voy a enviar el enlace para que se puedan conectar eh, sus muchas participantes. Muchas gracias, Flor. Hey, Jose, how are you? How was your weekend, Jose? Uh, fine, fine, teacher. Just let me find the headsets. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Yep. Let me know when you find the headsets, Jose. Now, you can hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you, no problem. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was, I said, hey, hey, I was getting a little worried. I said, I, no students, I wonder what happened. Perhaps where all, all the people have another thing to do. Yeah, I think this is a, is the they busy. They busy. They stay busy all day. In the jobs, right? That's the the problem yeah. is sometimes in 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 the office or the jobs is. It's difficult. You have to stay late or work more. And this becomes complicated. Or you are right, Tyler. Mm -hmm. And and for you, Jose, everything is okay. Yes, everything is okay. Good. That's good. Saul, how are you? How are you doing?
¿Saúl? Eh, how are you? Good evening. Good, good evening. evening. Good evening. Fine, thank you. Good, good. All right, great. It's good to see more people showing up. Marcela, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. Good. good. Well, guys, it's great to have um, some of you. I know sometimes it's difficult to come, uh, especially with work. But today we're going to be taking a look at feelings and gestures. So before we begin, we, so I'm going to explain a little bit the difference. Feelings is kind of like uh, we think of like our emotions, the, the way that we feel inside, the way that we have uh, anger, happiness, um, you know, the, these types of things. Those are the feelings. Gestures are the physical actions that you do. So as an example, a gesture, you say hello, right? That's a gesture. You wave your hand or a gesture when you are, um, you, you are smiling at someone. Okay, that's a gesture. All of those things are the, the difference between feelings and gestures. One is the emotional side, feelings, and the gestures are the physical side. Um, we're gonna start our unit four by watching a small video, and then we'll see if I, you have any questions. So, did you have a question? Oh, no, okay. I don't have a question. Okay, perfect. So let's watch the video and see what, it, what we have. One moment. biting his nails, he's rolling his eyes, he's scratching his head, he's stamping his foot, he's trimming his hair, he's wrinkling his nose. Teacher, did I'm sharing the screen. I'm sorry, what? You don't share the screen. You don't hear it. Que no, que no ha podido compartir la pantalla. Igual yo no lo veo tampoco. Don't share the screen. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. My mistake. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to the following expressions. Remember to play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. He's biting his nails. He's rolling his eyes. He's scratching his head. He's tapping his foot. He's turning his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Now I want you to use the previous expressions with these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. Annoyed, bored, confused, frustrated, impatient. Times as you need to. Okay. He's biting his nails. All right. So let's look at that part first. Okay. Now we can see Okay, sorry about that. We can see that we have all of these actions, right? Those are all of the gestures, biting his nails, rolling his eyes, all of these. First, let's see if we, let's match them to be sure that we understand. Which letter is biting his nails? Which one is number one? He's biting his nails. Letter D. Correct, letter D. That's right. That's the idea, biting the nails like that. Mm -hmm. Number two, he's rolling his eyes. Which one has to do with the C. eye? C, that's right. Rolling the eyes is like when the people say, ah, oh, I don't care. And they move their eyes. That's the idea of rolling his eyes. Number three, he's scratching his head. Hmm. F. F, excellent. That's F, good. Um, he's tapping his foot. E, perfect, 
great. He's twirling his hair. This is mm, like making little circles with the hair. That's twirling his hair. A. A, correct. And the last one, he's wrinkling his nose. When the people go like, like that with their nose, that's B, that's right. So as we can see, we have all of these different gestures that he's doing. Now, normally these gestures are associated with a feeling, right? Normally you do them when you're feeling something. So let's take a look. Um, probably the easiest one that we have is letter E, right? When do people uh, tap their foot? When do, you th when do people usually tap their foot? Look in the bottom. And that's right. Yeah, usually when people are impatient. When people are impatient is usually they're tapping their foot. They're like, ah, mm -hmm. the person, they're, they're waiting for something to happen. Okay. Now, yeah. <laughs> what about the other ones? Look at the the other uh, description. These All of these are adjectives, right? All of these are describing the feelings. Which one do you think goes with each picture? Which one would be maybe nervous or uh, frustrated or something? Irritate. That guy feels irritated. They beat his nails, right? Or... The biting his nails? Biting his nails. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Letter letter C. Impatient. Oh sorry. If a if a pops bar waiting for something for someone. Ah, okay. So that also, right? That the people can be impatient, waiting, waiting for something. Okay. Frustrated, maybe. Okay. Okay. What about uh, what about the other ones? What about the word the the idea for the others when it's confused? Which one, which picture would probably be be confused? He is scratching his head. Scratching his head. That's right. Yeah, right. I don't know why, but when you have something to think, you're hmm, you're scratching your head, and your people tend to think and scratch their head. Yeah. Okay, which other ones do you think we have there? We have a uh, letter A, B, and C still. Which what could be the feeling for letter A, B, or C? For uh, the letter C, I think annoyed. Maybe annoyed. Okay. All right. Yeah, it could be annoyed, right? Uh, not again or repeat or something. That's right. Okay, that could be annoyed. Good. What about A or B? Yeah. What, Mm -hmm. Are disgusted. Ah, okay. Disgusted. Which one do you think is disgusted? Asqueros. The which letter? B. Letter, letter B. Okay, so some of you say letter B and some C, right? Um, depends because sometimes, like with the food, when the food, when you, mm, the people wrinkle their nose. Right, when when they they smell something, they oh, I know, but also it could be maybe it could be letter C if if you are like ah, again the same thing I know, that's disgusted. All right, what about letter A? Well, that's very unusual. But when do you think people would twirl their hair? Bored. Maybe when they're bored. It could be when they're bored. Yeah. Bush. Impatient, maybe. Mm -hmm. Another way for the impatient. Okay. So, yeah. So we have a lot of different uh, gestures that people can do depending on their feelings. And that's the idea from that part. Okay. So we're going to be looking at body language. And body language is how, what you do physically. How do you act? Okay. And we're going to be using models and adverbs. Okay. So we're going to First, listen to a small conversation about the things that they do. And we're going to be looking a little bit of differences for cultures. And then we'll talk about it. So let's watch the video. And then we'll talk a little bit about what's happening.
Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay. So, in that situation, what is the gesture that he's Have doing? you met What what is the gesture that they're talking about from Raj? <laughs> That's right. He moves his head from side to side. And, and what does it mean? What does that mean? Right? Moving his Maybe head from side to side. Mm -hmm. if they try to, to explain to other people, right? Explain to his friends that um, Ash from India don't understand don't understand some words or the things that he say, right? Because he moves his head size to size when you talk to him, perhaps understand or not. Okay, that's one of the that's one of the things that they mentioned, right? That maybe it means he he doesn't understand. But then at the end of the conversation, well, they discover the meaning. What is the what is the real meaning of moving his head from side to side? When someone is they agree with you, something. That's, yeah, when they agree with you. So here in El Salvador, it's a little bit different, right? Here in, well, really in America, uh, North and South America, when, when when the people agree with you, they move their head up and down. They say, ah, uh huh, uh huh, right? But in India, it's not up and down. From India, it's from side to side. They they move their head from side to side. Right? And they, they they do it weird. They have a, a, an unusual movement. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm not from India, but they have it. And that's the same meaning, that they agree with you. Okay. So let's take a moment and talk about different gestures and different cultural differences. What other countries or cultures do you know about and their gestures? Which ones do you know that maybe are different from the ones that we have or the ones that we use? Do you know anything about any other countries? No, yes. Hello. Uh, repeat the question, please. Uh, yes. I said, uh, what other countries have unusual gestures or gestures that are different than the ones that we have? I don't. I don't remember that in China. I think uh, they make like a reverend. Ah, okay, okay, that's right. They make a, a in the yes in the movies. Uh, we can watch this. You see it sometimes, right? That they they mention, um, they do like in, in in England, they do the reverence to the queen or something like that. Oh, okay. In that one, or or which other country do you say for for the reverence? England, other country. England, right? England. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we have from England. Okay. Which other ones? Any? What other countries or other situations do we have? Uh, for example, in Esquipulas, the reverence uh, 
is uh, for the Black Jesus Christ. Uh, the people visit the statu statue. The statue. The statue. Uh, I, I don't remember. The statue. Yeah. And statue. Uh, when the, when the people is uh, coming back, uh, they, they are walking. Uh, the other side of the usually is a way to to walk. The people is walking uh, with the back uh, to. I don't know how to explain, but uh, suppose you are walking. You are walking like this. Uh, normal. Look, look, look in the look in the the Jesus Christ, and uh, taking care on. Don't have a uh, an obstacle because maybe you can fall. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So here is the statue. Here is the statue, and the people yes. walk that like this back. Okay. Yes. 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 Back. Yes. Back. Yes. 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 I yes, understand. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Uh -huh. That's right. And and I don't I don't know if uh, uh, reverence. I was uh, in Egypt, and. I went to a church, and I, the, I usually go to the church, and I don't have a care on my on my feet. But uh, I entered to the church, and a woman uh, shouted at me, "Hey, please uh, take out your shoes, uh, because uh, here you don't need to have your shoes in." into the church. I and, don't know if it's not right. And where yeah. where was this, Saul? In what country? Egypt. 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 Yes. Egypt in, in Africa. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I, I think it's similar to to India. I think India has something that, that you have to do. I don't remember it's with your shoes or um, mm -hmm. I, I think I think you have to wash your hands if I remember correctly. In India you I don't remember. You need to wash. Uh, I think I think it's wash your hands for for to be clean before you enter uh -huh. or something. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, I I don't remember exactly uh, the way in Israel in in Jerusalem uh, there is a, a custom that I don't remember in this moment. But it's an order. You don't have uh, uh, to make something, but it's forbidden. But I don't remember right now. Okay, all right. So yeah, definitely we have other countries, other cultures that are a little bit different. Um, I, if, if I remember correctly, for us in El Salvador, this is okay, right? This means no problem, it's okay. But in in France, I believe it, it's, it's either in France or Japan, I don't remember. But in one of those two countries, the okay means that it is nothing no value is bad is bad quality so if you say oh okay for them is you don't like this is terrible this is a bad product so this is uh-huh this is one gesture right because it gestures are the physical actions this is a gesture mm -hmm. um marcela jose do you know any any other gestures from other countries um marcela mentioned the one for the reverence to the queen yeah we don't we don't do the reverence right Oh, mm -hmm, Marcia? In our country, when someone uh, moves his head to up, it's like, what's up? Ah, like this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, Marcia. That's right. Yeah, that's a gesture. That means when our, when we move one time, it's like, uh, what happened or, 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 or what, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know something that maybe you don't think about, but it is for me is very, very strange. In El Salvador, um, the Salvadorians, we, we point to things with two different, completely different in other countries. We use the mouth to point. The people go like that, or the people... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For me, it's amazing. Pointing some people. Yeah, so people point with that or with or they use like they go, hey, 
and then they, they, they point to the other place with it like <laughs> yes but that doesn't happen in, in in Canada or the US so for me it's, it's very interesting when I when I came to El Salvador I thought hmm, okay okay it's, you see it's not only the language it's, it's not only being able to speak Spanish it's being able to understand the culture that makes a difference or, or move the shoulders like this yes or a bow uh -huh, that you don't know or... I don't know yeah mm -hmm. okay all right yeah we have quite a few things that we we use and we we tend to to mention the gestures right well here we're going to learn what or how to express them using the different adverbs now many times when the gesture is new for you you don't know what it means you're not sure what it means so we use specific words to indicate um possibilities or uh, what it might mean or or what it could mean and these are here um we're going to be seeing this is the idea these are what we use we use adverbs okay and these models of adverbs these are really these words are to indicate the possibility of things this is is not that it is this this is what but this is used to indicate oh what you think maybe or could be or might be. So let's watch the video and then I'll explain a little bit more about these models of adverbs. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Okay, so here, before we watch all the video, just to be clear, here, the first ones here are the ones with a small possibility, a little possibility. Here, the ones, the last ones are the ones with a big possibility. These are high probabilities, okay? Mm -hmm. Adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models? It might, may, mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Okay, so let's go back and see what we're talking about. In Stability, for example. Now, you tell me what you understand, okay? Yeah, for might, may, and could. The, yeah, we have the three, right? We have might, may, and could. And what's the difference in meaning between might, may, and could? Okay. okay, don't worry, let me help you out here. Let's, let's take a look, okay. 
So we have a couple of them. We have, we also use words like maybe, perhaps, possibly, and probably, okay? So to make sure, let's watch the video one more time to make sure it's clear. And then let's, let's see. So the question is, what do we use the adverbs for? What do we use? Which adverbs do we use when we are very secure, very positive about something? Which adverbs do we use when we are mm, so-so? And which adverbs do we use when we don't know? Okay, that's the idea. Which ones do we use when we are very positive? When we are mm, more or less positive? And we are not positive. So let's watch the video one more time and identify. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Okay, so we can see we, we are, that we have some specific grammar rules that we need to remember, okay? So one of those is the idea for maybe and perhaps. Can you hear me? I think that's okay. So we use maybe and perhaps um, at the beginning of the sentence, right? Maybe I'll go to the party. Perhaps I'll go to the party. Maybe Andrea is sick. Mm, perhaps Jaime will be late, okay? And then we use uh, possibly, probably, and definitely after the subject. So I will probably go to the party. I will definitely go to the party. But if you use maybe, you don't say, I maybe go to the party. You say, maybe I'll go to the party. So that's some of them. And we have several different words that we use. The most important is to understand here. The models might, may, they mean that you have a small possibility of something, that you're not sure about it. Could, and uh, it, also for it's possibly or probably, okay? And then must is definitely, that's what it means. So the small possibility might, may, like maybe and perhaps, okay? Could possibly and probably are like in the middle, like so-so. Mm, and then must and definitely are the ones that yes, you believe this is the word or you believe this is the, the right information. Are those adverbs okay? Okay. Huh? More, more or less? Yes, more or less. More or less, okay. Let's try, let's try to use it as speaking together. Let me take a picture and send to the WhatsApp for the people that didn't come first before we begin. So the idea is we're going to use them to make sentences, okay? To make sure that everyone eh, does have it. Mm, just one moment, I'm looking for the 
Here we go. Okay. Okay. So let's take a look. All right. So we have those different words, might, may, could, and must. So if we're going to talk about might and may, it's when you are when you have no information. You don't know anything about it, right? So when they were talking about Raj moving his head from moving his head from side to side, you say, mm, mm, that may might or may mean because you have no idea. You have no idea. But if you watch the bank, the Big Bang theory, uh, and you have maybe a small idea, you say, oh, mm, I think it could, it could mean, or possibly, or probably means this, because maybe you have a little bit of information, you have a, a small idea, okay? But then when you, no, 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 I know my friend is from India, or no, I know because I watched this program. Ah, then you use the words, it must mean, or it definitely means. Those are the ones that we use constantly, okay? So the most the most common ones that we use is usually like might or must, things like that, okay? So we're gonna have here kind of an idea and we're gonna try to do it together because eh, to be honest, we aren't too many people today so we can work together. So here, okay, we have these six images, okay? What do you think they mean? What do the different pictures you mean? Now, the important is to use the vocabulary. Uh, picture number one might mean, may mean, probably means, must mean, could mean, because that's the idea. That's how you're going to complete each one. So take a look at them. And what do you think are the meanings of those gestures? The number one. So me and someone is crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. Very common, even in even in the Salvador, right? We don't we don't normally use it, but we see it a lot in the movies. So it <laughs> it could mean someone yeah. is crazy. Uh-huh. All right, good. Good. What about number two? Who would like to try number two? This is like happy, right? It's like coming here right now and happy or something like that. I don't know, right? Okay. Might be, be other thing, right? Like coming here, I need you. Or okay. could be, I need a favor or something like that. I don't know, whatever. Okay, good, good. I said that. Yeah, so that's probably like come here. She seems very happy. It could mean, or it, it, it looks like it probably means come here, right? Because the person doesn't look angry. They look happy to, and they're trying to call the person. Mm -hmm. Oh, what about number, number two? Yes, yes, Marcela. Number three, just merely mean silence or be quiet. Which number three or number two? Number, number three. three. Number three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number three means silence or be quiet, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. To, but to be honest, in that some other number three is usually only used in in the banks or, or in the schools, <laughs> right? It's not common in other yeah. place. It's not common. Also, to, teacher, in the theaters, also. Oh yeah, Jose, you're right. You're right. In well, the, back in the days, right, before of the pandemic, right, back in the days, the <laughs> theaters. Yeah, no, no, you're right. Like, because, be quiet, right, the yeah. movie starts. But, yeah, because in the Salvador, the people can't see you, but but we are very, very loud, right? We tell them, shh, shh, and, and, and we don't say it nice, like, like uh, in the movies, shh, please be quiet. Now we say, shh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, teacher, teacher, uh, uh, talking about uh, the three men, mm -hmm. uh, he is giving an order. It seems that he is giving an order. Keep silent. But uh, 
I have a doubt about a word that is hush. Hush uh -huh. uh, and keep silent, hush and be quiet. Uh, but hush is uh, something softly. Uh, keep silent uh, uh, what is the, the difference? No, 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 it's the same idea. Hush is the synonym of be quiet. Mm. So if you tell someone to hush, you are telling them to mm -hmm. be quiet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. What about number four? What, what could be number four? It's a happy woman that uh, is sending a message, peace and love. Ah, peace and love. Okay, okay. I thought maybe it's a happy woman at the bar having two pilsners. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 but yes, yeah, right? It's very common, that expression for peace and love. That's what people use for oh, peace yeah. and love. Oh, yeah, photo. Uh huh. The photos. Very common. Yeah, you're right. When people take the photos, they don't know what to do with their hands. They go in two fingers, like peace and love. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What about number five? What's picture? What's the gesture in number five? Yeah, maybe it's a it's a man that is nervous, and. Is for example uh, watching a, a, a soccer uh, football game and somebody shot uh, a goal and he's nervous and he's trying to express that uh, he is wearing something but uh, something bad or I don't know how to explain that. To hope to express that that uh, that idea. Okay. All right. No problem. No problem. That's a good idea. Anybody else? What could be picture number five? What it means to you? Teacher, how do you say or how can I say uh, apostar? Apostar. Yeah. Bet. Bet. B, mm -hmm, B E T. Yeah. Bet. That guy. I speak right. How, how the guy say a few seconds ago? She's nervous, right? He's nervous, so he's nervous. Wow. But make he want to make some money, do meet and, and feels nervous about the soccer match. Okay, okay. So maybe like it's like. Uh, lucky. Ah, uh, for Marcelo, like for lucky to to be lucky. Y yes, because oh. the person is in, is impatient, so you you put your fingers uh, cross or lucky. Right? Okay, also to be lucky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. What about number six? Let's take a look at that one. What does what does that mean? Maybe a secret. Ah, okay. Someone's telling them a secret. Okay. Hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, can you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you repeat that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you repeat? Yeah. Uh -huh. He can listen very well. <laughs> I, uh, that's another can't I can't listen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. So we have all of these ideas for what the gestures could mean, right? And we have the six of them. It, it's today was a, a, a pretty easy a class. Um, it's unfortunate the partners didn't come to be able to. To, to do more, but we're gonna practice together. And the idea is, in, have you ever had a, a, a gesture that you didn't know, or you saw someone use a gesture and you say, hmm, what is that? So as an example, um, it's very unusual. Um, you know, uh, when you count, when you count the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, how do you count? Look at my hand. 
do you count one two three four five do you count one two three like that right do you one two three or do you count one two three okay mm -hmm. saul which way do you count do you go mm -hmm. one number one in this form number two in this form um, or, or number three yes, uh, 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 in my way to, to count is, uh, I don't know how to say, is the the finger that is next to the dedo gordo. Uh, this is the first uh, finger that I start to count. So you, one, yes, yes, you, that you, finger. You one, two, yes, three. One, two, yes, that, that's, that's right, that's right. Okay, all right, Very, all right. Jose, what about you, how do you count? In my case, the way that I count is this. Oh, you begin with the pinky. Yeah. 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 I don't know how I, I, to say I, that it's the first time that I hear that expression. Yeah. yeah. So I I prepare to to show. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot about the pinky. That that's right. Some people count begin with the pinky. But, One, two. But uh -huh. usually, as other ways, right? Like mm -hmm. two or one. Okay, okay. That is more when I count money, right? Yeah. Uh, every day, huh, Jose? Every day. Oh. <laughs> Some days, trash. <laughs> it's like, make it rain, Jose. Make it rain. <laughs> and Marce, what about you? How do you count? I start with the pinky too. You start with the pinky too. Okay. All right. So you see, yes, many times little things in our life are from our culture. In, in people count differently. They use different fingers. They use different things in order to, to mention things. Okay. So for us, many times you're right that the pinky or begin with this. In other countries, they begin with a thumb. One, two, three, and they go like this, and they count this as three, right? Mm -hmm. um, in other countries, they begin one, two, and three, right? So it's it's these little gestures that seem normal are not always normal for other cultures. And just maybe they count with their fingers, maybe they move their head up and down, but they have different meanings. If I remember correctly, in Turkey, in Turkey, when you go up and down with your head like this, the meaning is no. So if I say, hey, hey, Jose, do you want pupusas? And Jose goes, that means no in Turkey. Mm -hmm. but, but, but for us, it's, it's illogical. For, for us, it's normal. You, you say, no, it's, huh? This is yes, but no, it's not yes internationally. Yes. Many countries, yes, but not all the countries, not every, not everyone uses the same gestures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, uh, mm, if you notice the one with the finger like this, remember? In the, in the picture yeah. before, in, in the US, you, when you are, uh, you use this when you tell a lie. So if I say, Marcela, did you work in the platform? And Marcela said, yes, teacher, yes. And she hides the finger behind her back. This is the idea for I am lying, but it's okay because I have my fingers crossed. But for others, like Marcela mentioned and Saul, I think, and Jose, that you guys mentioned that the others is for, oh, I have a bet or I have a game, a soccer game. And ah, my team, my team, I hope, I hope they win. This is the other for the gestures, right? Mm -hmm. for, for the good luck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we may gestures with the eight lashes too. Uh, oh, and for, sorry, Marcella, I, I didn't hear you clearly on that one. Can, can you please repeat? We, we may uh, gestures with the eight lashes. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. Also, we make other gestures. That's right. So, 
I don't know. In which gesture do you commonly use? Which one do you do you have a, a tendency to to use in your life? I think that more my shoulder is the more common. Okay. Like me. Hey, Marce. Yes. What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh, the, 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 the famous, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Saul, what about you? What, what gesture do you think you use the most? Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I live in a main street mm -hmm. and it's very noisy because right now uh, a motorcycle run, is running, <laughs> but I didn't listen. No problem. <laughs> Can no you problem. repeat? Yes, yes, of course, Saul, of course, it's normal. I, I say, mm -hmm. what, what gesture do you use a lot? What gesture is common for you? What gesture? Is normal. Uh, what the meaning of gesture? The, the, normal the, gesture? The, the, yesterday or what? No, no, gesture, gesture. The, 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 the gesture are the, the activities, the actions that you do um, the, to say, okay, move your shoulders, no, the different gestures uh, or, or, or different actions, uh, of, like actions, what different actions? I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember, uh, for example, in, in the history, in Rome, the Caesar, when he was uh, uh, looking or he was watching the fight in the Coliseum, Rome, oh, okay. uh, if somebody uh, lost the fight, they indicate with the hand to down. It means diet, and in the hand is uh, in the big uh, finger up. It means that man must live. That man is a hero. I don't know if you understand that. But I am trying to say. I understand. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. For the, the gladiators. Yeah. Yeah, and today is uh, yeah, yeah. and today is different, right? Today this means I like. Think about that. that today uh -huh. yeah, this is yeah, yes. this is I like, uh -huh. and this is the, the, I don't the, like. The, I don't like. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. but before this is you live, and this is you die. Die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. 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 Right. right. Jose, what about you? You were gonna say which which gesture? Just, just my gestures are perhaps the most common teacher, like taking a lot of says, move the shoulder, or how Kahura says, with the fingers, like, like yeah, yeah, do, yeah, do, the shot, ah. or move the head up when you see another home, another dog, mm -hmm. out there, away from, away from you, a little, little bit of thing, like how? Yeah, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. Something like that, I forgot that word. Okay, yeah, and do you know also like um, when you go down in El Salvador, the, in Hawaii, this is very, this is many times. Yeah, 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 that's that's common. It's like natural, right? It's like, yeah. Everything is cool, it's everything is everything good. Everything is cool, everything is cool, yeah. Yeah, and then we have the others that in El Salvador, ha! Saul, what did you do this week? Mm -hmm. so, and we know, we know this is celebrating. Yes, but that, that signal is, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes. That means uh, something uh, uh, by the demon or sometimes is, uh, is the person is uh, lying to you. It's, uh, it's not clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. We are going to pause right now. And tomorrow we're going to continue talking about and describing and using those adverbs and gestures. Okay. Okay.
All right, guys. Have a great okay. night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.